Hey guys, Coach T from TD Fitness here. So the running theme for these several weeks is to reduce the amount of stress in our lives. Why? Well, because chronic stress is unhealthy. It affects our mood, our hormones, and it causes us to retain excess weight. But if I just tell you to reduce stress, that's that's somewhat of a nebulous term, right? I mean, how do you actually do that? How do you actually reduce stress? What do you need to do? Well, all too often, we, we stress the wrong word in those questions. We ask, what do I need to do? When we should be asking, what do I need to do? It's not about what worked for others. It's about what will give you the best chance for success. And there are three things that I, I consider uh, here as we talk about how to truly make your goals about you. So as we look to answer the, the question, how can I reduce stress to live healthier? I'd encourage you to look at the destination. That's your goal. Look at your starting point, or I should say your starting point. And finally, your drive. What's going to get you there? So today I'll briefly hit your goal. And later this week, I'll address your starting point and your drive. So think of your goal not as a destination or an accomplishment or a a point you necessarily reach or achieve, but rather think of it as the type of person that you eventually want to be or want to become. Looking at this from a a how to lower stress standpoint, I would reframe my goal to, to be the type of person who lives a life of lower stress. Now, why is it helpful to reframe the the goal in that way? To say, I want to be a person who, in this case, leads a life of lower stress. Well, it's helpful and important because when you make your goal the type of person that you want to be, you're able to fill in a lot of the blanks when questions about, what do I do in this case? When those types of questions arise. For example, we've talked about getting more rest in recent weeks as a way to reduce stress. Suppose you set a goal of getting eight hours of sleep on Tuesday night. Well, when your boss hands you a project that's due on Wednesday or your kid needs some help with a project that's due on Wednesday, your plan for eight hours of sleep on Tuesday night may have to change. But if your goal is to be someone who is less stressed overall and who looks to reduce stress, be reduce stress to, by incorporating more more sleep into your, your busy schedule, you realize that staying up later to work on this night or helping your child on this night isn't going to detract from your overall goal, but it's actually going to help you by allowing you to do some things that need to be done and that will probably probably reduce stress when you actually have them done. So by focusing on the type of person that you want to be, it allows you to focus on the bigger picture when things pop up that seemingly contradict what you're trying to achieve. Now, before I go, you may be thinking, well, I thought my goal was supposed to be somewhat specific. Well, it it does need to be specific, and I'll tell you how to address that in my next post.